Hello, good morning. Welcome to Science 4 class. Again, I am Tisha Levy. How are you today? Me, I'm doing good. So let's continue chapter one, plant life. Let's review first. Can you still remember the, the function of leaf? Yes, leaf make food. How about stem? Yes, stem carry water and food. How about the root? Root absorbs water and minerals. Thank you, students. Now let's proceed. Transport system. Again, transport system. Can you read the word in Thai? Thank you. What is transport system? Transport system carry things from one place to another. Again, carry things from one place to another. Examples, land transport. Land transport, we have cars and motorcycles. Do you know Food Panda and Grab Food? They carry your food from the restaurant to your house. So that is an example of land transport system. We have also air transport. Example, airplanes. So what if I want to go to the, I want to go to Singapore? Airplanes, air transport, carry, carry me from Bangkok airport going to Singapore airport. So how about plant transport? Do you have any idea? Is it cars? Is it motorcycle? Is it train? Is it taxi? What is it? Let's watch this video first. Oh, hi guys, we're just watering plants here in the greenhouse. We probably know that plants need water to live and grow, and all parts of the plant need it, even the top of the very tallest tree. And that can be a really long way up, but have you ever wondered how water gets all the way to the top of trees or other plants? Well, I could tell you, but you want to see for yourself. Let's do an experiment. We can do it using a plant that you might have in your house right now. It also happens to be a great snack. Celery. Yep, celery. It's crunchy, good for you, and it can show us how plants move water around inside them. To do this experiment, you'll need a piece of celery with the leafy parts on the top. Some dark colored food coloring. Red or blue tend to work best. A cup big enough to stand the celery in. Plus, a spoon, some water, and help from a grown up. First, fill about half your cup with water. Then, add at least five drops of food coloring to the water. The more you put in, the easier it'll be to see later. So, go ahead and use a lot. Now, ask the grown up to cut off the bottom edge of the celery stalk. So, the celery at the end is nice and fresh. Then, put the celery in the colored water. Oh, and I forgot to mention one more ingredient for this experiment. Patience. You're going to have to wait a full day, at least, to see how the colored water changes the celery. So, put your experiment somewhere out of the way. When you come back a day later, have a close look at the leaves at the top of the celery. Pick up the stalk, too, and have a look at the bottom edge that is standing in the water. What do you see? If you put enough food coloring in, and you waited for a long enough time, you should see that some of the leaves of the celery have changed color to match the color of the water. And parts of the bottom of the celery probably changed color too. So what do you think happened? The water moved through the plant. The colored water from the cup moved up through the celery stalk. We can tell this happened because the leafy parts have changed color. And we can see the color all through the stalk, especially if you break it in half. This movement of water actually happens all the time in plants. And it happens because water is actually leaving the plant from the top through the leaves, which then pulls up more water from below. When a plant is full of water, like the stalk of celery that's been soaked in water for a long time, some of the extra
extra water inside leaves the plant to tiny holes in the leaf. And as these extra water particles move into the air, they pull on the water particles that are still in the leaf, which pull on the ones in the stem, which pull on the ones in the root. It's like a big chain of water particles pulling on each other from the top to the bottom of the plant. In our experiment, water moves from the leaves of the celery into the air. The water particles stuck to one another and move through the stalk, dragging the food coloring with them. But the actual color didn't evaporate into the air. It stayed in the celery. In fact, if you look at the bottom of the celery, the color helps you see the special parts of the plant that move water around inside it. These parts make up what's called the xylem. The xylem is hollow and kind of looks like pipes or tubes. Whether water is being moved from the root to the leaf in the tallest tree or moving to the top of the celery stalk in a glass. It's being carried in the xylem. Now that you've done this experiment once, you can probably think of lots of other experiments to try too. For example, does it matter what type of food color you use? What would happen if you split the bottom of the celery stalk in two and put each half in a different color of water? Would the same experiment work if you use a different type of plant or even a flower? The possibilities are endless. Try this experiment at home or at school and share a picture or a video with us to show us what happens. And come back to join us every Monday and Wednesday for more science and experiments. Bye, guys. All right. So, our lesson for today is about vascular bundles. What do you think is vascular bundles? Maybe you're right. Maybe you didn't know the answer. Vascular bundles are the plant transport system. Yes, correct the plant transport system. Not car, not motorcycles, not airplanes. Vascular bundles are plant transport system. Where we can find vascular bundles? We can find it mostly in the stem. This is the stem of a plant, stem. And vascular bundles have two tubes. Can you see this color here? These are the tubes of vascular bundles. And these are xylem and phloem. So xylem is it is in the inner part. So where where are the where is the inner part? So this here here are the inner part. So this is the xylem. So the color red. This is the inner part. And phloem is the outer part. So this is the outer part. So this is the phloem. So again, vascular bundles have two tubes, xylem and phloem. Xylem is in the inner part of the stem, inner, near the center. And phloem is in the outer part of the stem. All right, understand? Now let's move on. So what do you think is xylem? Why stem have xylem? Xylem or what we call water carrying tube. Again, xylem or water carrying tube. Xylem carry water from the roots up to the other parts of the plant. Again, carry water from the roots up to the other parts of the plant. Roots function is what? Can you remember? Roots absorb water from the soil. So the water is in the roots. So the function of xylem is to get that water from the roots and give to the leaves and give to the fruits and flower. So that's why xylem is water carrying tube. Is to carry water from the roots. Not from the leaf because leaf not absorb water. Only the roots absorb water from the soil. So how about the phloem? Phloem or what we call food 
carrying tube. Again, slalom or food carrying tube. Slalom carry food from the leaves to the other parts of the plant. Again, slalom carry food from the leaves to the other parts of the plant. Can you remember the function of leaf? Yes, leaf make food. So, phloem, the function of phloem is to carry the food from the leaves and give to the root or to the fruit or to the flower. So that is the function of phloem. So again, xylem carry water. Make it short and easy. Xylem carry water. Phloem carry food. Understand? Xylem and phloem are vascular bundles. Vascular bundles are transport system of the plant. Easy? You understand? Good. So now, I want you to answer activity 1.2, letter A, page 15 of your book. Are you ready? All right. So, in your book, number one, you're going to draw. Draw the vascular bundle. Don't worry. I'm going to give you an example. You can copy. You can copy the same my example or you can search on the internet. This is an example of a vascular bundle of a plant. You can copy this drawing or you can look at the other website. I'll give you about five minutes. Is it enough? All right, five minutes. I'll set the timer first. All right, five minutes. You have five minutes to draw the vascular bundle.
you have at least one minute left. All right, you have five seconds, four, three, two, one, zero. All right, next, can you tell me here, what is this, this part here? Is this xylem or phloem? The inner part, xylem or phloem? You can do it. Is this xylem or phloem? The inner part. Yes, I think it is xylem. Correct. And of course, this one is phloem. I'll give you about 10 seconds to copy the answer. All right, let's move on. This is for your homework. So you're going to answer number three, number four, number five, and number six. So number three, which parts of the stem are stained by the colored water? Colored water, which part? Xylem or phloem? Next, what are these parts called? Number five, how is the xylem in the stem useful to the plant? Number six, how is the phloem in the stem useful to the plant? Very easy, you can see the answers in your book page six. One, six, all right. Good luck. I hope you do your homework. And after you've done your homework, please give it to me ASAP when you come here at school. So that's all for today. Thank you and goodbye, students.